Hey, what's going on everyone? Moose here, Air Guns of Michigan. And today we are going to talk a little bit about this project that my friend Chris Turk and I have decided to embark upon. And um, so Chris reached out to me and he said, you know, man, I've got a bunch of like impact stuff. What do you think about like Frankensteining together a gun and, you know, making something really cool that we can just, you know, have a good time with? And I was like, man, I'm totally down, man. Like, what, what were you thinking? He said, well, you know, I've got an MK2 and he goes, you know, I could, we could probably get a hold of a, of a power block and uh you know add that and you know let's make it dual bottle and let's get some parts on it and see what we can't do and i was like dude i'm i'm 100 percent down and he's like you know let me reach out to a few people and see what they think and maybe they'll be interested so that's exactly what chris did and he brought it to me and he said here put this together and i said dude i am down i totally down so Huge shout out to Chris Turk, the Up North Air Gunner, for like getting all these parts to uh, throw onto this MK2 that we're going to turn into the M3.5. Now everybody's like, what do you mean 3.5? What's going on? Well, there's just a few things that, you know, you can't necessarily get direct. So it's kind of like our... Our twist on it so we're gonna start out with this uh, mk2 frame and you know we've got our main block we've got our power block we've got our not even barely a plenum um, we've got uh, the gauges um, Chris had this dual bottle adapter uh, but because it's gonna be an m3 I think we're gonna need the updated Sabre Tactical. So uh, we've got that. Uh, we've got the dual bottles. We've got a barrel kit from Mr. Ernest Rowe himself. So this is Ernest's um, tension barrel system, at least I'm pretty certain that's exactly what this is. So I'm really looking forward to uh, sticking that on there. Obviously, at this point, I'm waiting on the main um, piece to come to me uh, so that, you know, we can build this out. Because realistically, there's no point in putting anything on this until we get this power block. Uh, because everything's going to have to come back off in order to put the power block and the, the power plenum in. So we're just kind of holding off, waiting that should be here and Donnie FL and Saber Tactical said hey man I want to be part of this let me see what we can't throw together to add to this bad to the bone FX impact M 3.5 and I was like heck yeah man what do you got and he's like let me send you some stuff. I was like, dude, let's do this. And let's see. Oh, got some got some fluffy, fluffy stuff. All right. Take a look at that. All right, let's see. What do we got here? We've got a TRS standard rail for this. Okay, good. There's our little plastic piece. So we have the TRS rail for that with our barrel holder that it might fit that. And then what else did Donnie send? Donnie sent a
stock Arca rail. Sweet. It's the extended plug. Let's see what else he sent. Sent some stickers and some patches. He sent. Oh, nice. Yeah, this will. This will. Dude, these things are like priceless. Set a butt stock for it so we don't have to use this. And da 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 da! A fat boy! Sweet! So, there we go. There we have it. Donnie stepping up. Izzy stepping up. Thanks so much, you guys. Man, this is going to be an awesome project to build. I'm actually super excited to build this thing out. <clears throat> I just, uh, you know, I, I, I kind of wanted to do a video and this is kind of how it kind of came about a little bit too. Um, I think Chris wanted to showcase how to take an MK2 and make it into an M3. And um, I had actually thought about the same thing, uh, doing it with my MK2 um, but honestly, then this kind of popped up and I was like, dude, this is awesome, man. Cause this kind of gives me an opportunity. And Chris is like, dude, I've been wanting to, do it was just, it was, it was meant to happen. It's going to be a really cool gun. Um, you know, I guess we're going to have a slight custody battle over who gets to hold on to it the most and shoot it, but it doesn't really matter. It's just going to be fun to build. And, uh, and I'm really look, excuse me, I'm really looking forward to, um, putting this thing together. Oh, and uh, we've got an Element Optics Helix to go on top of it as well. The 6 to 24 by 50. Um, so we'll be putting that on top of there. Um, unless something else comes along, but I don't know. We'll see. But uh, there you have it. This is kind of the guts. We're just waiting on the, the main component from FX to arrive. Uh, to make this thing into an M3.5 and um, you know I'll have this thing together in relatively short order and uh, you know we'll go from there so really looking forward to seeing what this thing is going to do and how it's going to perform and uh, really looking forward to this uh, Ernest Rowe barrel um, so awesome of Ernest to send this over to us so um, it's kind of exciting so Till next time, I'm Moose. This is Air Guns of Michigan. Be good to each other and God bless.